And now, the general weather around Alaska. Okay, fire danger graphic forecast for tomorrow. Again, uh, not much change from yesterday. Still high, very high to extreme in the Yukon Flats area up here on Fort Yukon. The greater Fort Yukon area with uh, high fire danger extending westward into the Koyukuk and Kobuk Valleys and then off northwestward into the Noatak Valley there. And an area of high fire danger over the southwest interior. Satellite imagery showing uh, clouds here moving from generally east to west or east northeast to west southwest here, keeping it cloudy, cool, and rainy across much of uh, southern Alaska with one surge here coming across south central Alaska, producing areas of light rain throughout the day across much of the area. More showery out here to the southwest, uh, drier day for Kodiak Island and uh, southern panhandle getting clipped by this system down here bringing a little bit of moisture up to the southern areas there and right on the edge of the map here you can see the cloud shield with the next system will begin affecting the western Aleutians later tonight and tomorrow and then should kick the winds up to at least small craft advisories across the remainder of the Aleutians on thursday otherwise not much going on out over the bering sea just some areas of clouds pretty good clearing up here over the uh, northern interior, Kobuk-Koyukuk Valley out to the northwest, even uh, eastern north slope areas. And on the chart today, weak low here over the eastern border area. That's uh, bringing showers, about a quarter of an inch of rain fell during the 12 hour period ending at 3 p.m. today at uh, Nanana, for example, with uh, lighter amounts anywhere from a few hundredths of an inch to near a tenth of an inch across south central Alaska. Scattered showers on the North Gulf Coast, extending down to Kodiak Island, and this trough extending some uh, shower activity down into the southern Kuskokwim Valley and in toward Togiak, but a few breaks in the overcast there for the uh, Yukon Kuskokwim Delta, mostly sunny up in this area, and not much going on, nothing going on out over the Bering Sea except for the clouds, winds on the light side there, a few isolated showers for the Fox Islands and a weak trough and as I mentioned some shower activity there over the southern southeast coast and for uh, tonight look for some showers over toward the eastern border of the panhandle diminishing over Prince Wales Island maybe a few clearing periods developing showers lingering around Yakutat drying out over south central Alaska but still remaining mostly cloudy and then uh, heading northward there you get into an area of persistent rain and showers up northern Susitna Valley across the Alaska Range and in toward the uh, Upper Tanana Valley, 40 mile country, staying dry to the north, mostly cloudy scattered showers back to the west here, and a weak trough trying to push a little bit of moisture here as it slides up uh, over the top of this ridge of high pressure over the eastern Aleutians, trying to push some moisture in toward the Pribilofs, but generally look for cloudy skies there and uh, increasing winds and rain for the western Aleutians eventually not so much tonight but for tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon out west here mostly west of Amchitka Island to Shimia look for small craft advisory level winds light or winds here for the Adak and Atka area light and variable for the eastern Aleutians Alaska Peninsula and basically under this ridge of high pressure along the southwest coast drying it out and keeping increasing sunshine from Bristol Bay up into the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta and still the northern third or so of the state, partly mostly sunny, mostly clear for the Arctic coast and North Slope tomorrow. Rain over portions of the Tanana Valley are actually calling for heavy showers persisting there. And an area of rain and showers extending across the Copper River Basin, Susitna, Manuska Valley, into northern Cook Inlet, but heading south, uh, increasing chances some sunshine and dry conditions there down to Kodiak Island, northeast Bristol Bay. And not too bad for the panhandle. Most of this moisture staying off the coast through the day, just some isolated shower activity and uh, a few clearing periods as well. And then for the day on Thursday, mostly cloudy with a few showers around the southeast coast, but this system finally bringing increasing chances of rain to Prince Wales Island specifically there and dry for the North Gulf Coast, partly sunny now, South Central Alaska, maybe some isolated showers over the Chugach and Talkeetna Mountains as well as the Copper River Basin, a drier day here over the uh, southeast interior areas. Still some showers here along this trough to the west there. And generally dry with variable clouds and a risk of a shower up over the Brooks Range area, but dry for the North Slope and Arctic Coast, staying dry over the Yukon Flats. 
Dry along the southwest coast with variable clouds, light winds, high pressure right along the coastline there, extending down over the Alaska Peninsula with a high in this position. Kind of a weak northwest flow there will keep it partly to mostly sunny for Kodiak Island. Definitely dry winds on the light side. And uh, small craft advisory winds now developing all the way to the eastern Aleutians and extending back towards Shimia with the main rain area falling over Adak and Atka. For the lows tonight, 20s for the North Slope and Arctic Coast, otherwise 40s and 50s for the remainder of the state. Uh, lower 40s, or upper 30s, lower 40s for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. Mid 40s for the southeast coast. Highs for tomorrow, 60s and 70s. Central interior, especially the northern valleys here from uh, say no attack Red Dog across Bettles and into the upper Yukon Valley, well into the 70s, 50s and 60s. We're mostly in the lower 60s here to the west and then more clouds and rain. Mid to upper 50s, south central Alaska, Copper River Basin areas and uh, as well as the southeast coast. Lows the following morning, about the same, still uh, 20s for the North Slope and Arctic Coast, 40s and 50s, south of the Brooks Range there, and then south of the Alaska Range, mostly in the 40s, and uh, 40s for the Panhandle, upper 30s, lower 40s for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. And then highs for Thursday afternoon, 70s to 75 to 80, warmest there in the Yukon Flats, keeping those fire dangers high. and. Uh, 60s to the south, so a little bit of a recovery in the temperatures, a little more sunshine, drier conditions, Copper River Basins, the Sitna Valley, and eventually the Kenai Peninsula. 50s, lower 60s for the Panhandle in the 40s out to the west.